Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back at it again with the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7 and today we are going to be trying out the HTTP module. Now this module will allow you to monitor network traffic like things like URLs, images, cookies, and um, some other types of data um, on HTTP websites, which is pretty cool. And it's kind of a good reminder of why you shouldn't use HTTP websites. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, in order to do so, you need to set up your Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7. Now, if you guys don't know how to do that, I have a video I'll have in the cards right here in the description and whatever else I want to put it. Um, that is a full fledged tutorial on how to use the Mark 7. So if you are lost, if you just got it and you don't know how to use it, then make sure to check out that video because it can help you out a lot. Now, that's enough introduction. Let's jump into this, right? So I'm going to quickly go here and actually just remove it off of my computer or I mean off of the Mark 7. And if you go here to the module section, go ahead to the get available modules, you'll see right here in HTTP peak. Now this is the module again that we're going to be going over today. So go ahead and hit install and we're going to hit install again. And we'll let it install. Now this may vary depending on, oh, okay, never mind, it's done. <laughs> I thought it was going to take a second, but it's done. Um, so let's go on HTTP peak and we can go ahead and just leave it here for now. What you want to do is have an SSID open or have your rogue access point open um, for the clients or your targets or whatever. Now my phone is going to be, I guess, my target. So you can see on the Wi-Fi section, I'm already connected to this free Wi-Fi hotspot. The free Wi-Fi hotspot is my Wi-Fi pineapple. So we're already connected to the pineapple. So we're all said and done. Next up, we're going to go on to Safari or whatever search browser you use on or whatever they would use. Right now, in order to prepare for this video, I have kind of helped us out a little bit. So you can go on my website if you want to, or um, if it shows up in the search results, you can as well and click the GitHub icon. Right. So we're going to go to my GitHub. Now I'll have this link be in the description, but there is an HTTP list I have um, on my GitHub which is literally just an entire list of random HTTP websites, websites that still haven't moved to the HTTPS world, right? So I guess we should go ahead and try it, right? So the way you're gonna to need to do is hit the enable so it can get ready and start preparing to listen. And now you can just hit the start when it comes to the start list. I'm actually gonna make this screen a little bit bigger just so you guys can see a little bit better. So we're gonna hit start and now it's all ready. So now the Mark 7 is just listening to all the traffic that's going on from this device right here to the um, Mark 7. All right, hackers, so let's check out some of the cool stuff that you guys have been putting in the self promo section of the Discord server. If you wanna join the Discord server, it will be linked in the description as always, so you guys can join that. But let's go ahead and check out some of the cool stuff you guys have been throwing on there. So let's go ahead and click any random HTTP website we have here. We'll go to uh, dangdang.com <laughs> and you can already see it's getting the URLs here. It's getting some cookies here and it's already starting to get some images as well. Um, wow. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. All right, cool. So just off of this one website, um, you can see there's some images we're getting the URLs and cookies and yeah so that's pretty cool so now the attacker which is on this computer can basically monitor whatever the person on their phone is doing if they're accessing an http website like this right now i can scroll down my phone and you can see the images will change as i scroll um let's see i like this uh i don't know this watch right here i'm gonna click on that watch and yeah, the images will update. Safari, you can open addresses invalid. Yeah, so be careful on HTTP websites. Um, <laughs> it is very, uh, in, it can be a pretty insecure place and a lot of malware can be installed into your device that way or vice versa, people tend to attack HTTP websites as well. But yeah, you can see that the traffic is being monitored. It's capturing the URLs 
But yeah, it's pretty, um, pretty scary. I guess. Not scary, but pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. Now, if I were to be using the VPN on my phone, it actually would kind of block a lot of this stuff out, which is pretty cool. So make sure you do use some sort of secure VPN or just Tor. Um, but let me go on my face. Again, that's gonna be it. It's just a super quick short video on this cool module. Now I'm gonna be going through some other modules on the Wi-Fi Pineapple as well. So hopefully you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that. But anyways, make sure to leave a like on the video, you know, leave a comment, subscribe and that whole thing. And I will see you guys in the next one. So stay happy, stay positive, and as always, happy hacking.